Hey guys, it's Nina from Worship Pounder Tutorials, and I'll be showing you how to play the song called Pieces by Amanda Cook. Um, so, very quick, the introduction looks somewhat like this. Very easy. Um, the chords are... Uh, B flat, C minor, this is uh, C minor, I'm playing it like this, and then G minor, E flat, and then back to B flat. So um, the way you're playing it is with your right hand you're pressing on the B flat, with your left hand you're playing on the B flat. You're kind of singing the verse in your head to know the beat of the introduction, so for example. My left hand moves to C sharp, C, going to G minor, one more time, and left goes into E flat. And with your right, you're just pressing on B flat, that's all you're playing. Uh, your left hand goes from B flat to C, and then G and E. So. Introduction. Remember, as new songs come forth, their style is as simple as possible. So it's really simple. Anyway, moving on to the verse, the chords are identical. So you got the B flat, the C minor, G minor, and the E flat. So from the introduction, you're going to be playing. And then starting. playing the same thing as the introduction. It's not a shame Your love is proud To be seen with me So that's the verse. Uh, very similar to the introduction. You're actually playing the same exact thing. All you're playing with your right hand is you're pressing on the B flat right here and your left hand is just moving from the B, C, G, into the E. And then from the verse you do a little instrumental that's just identical to the introduction and then you go into the chorus. So for example, to be seen with me. This is the little instrumental and then going to the chorus. Just to keep the music flowing, you can keep, keep hitting on this B minor and then, I mean, B flat, and then again, G sharp. You don't hide yourself to Jesus. So remember, the first chorus is just very empty, and if you have synth in the background of your piano, that's great. If you don't, just keep hitting this B flat, you know, in intervals because. It does sound a little too empty without the synth part. Um, the chords I didn't really mention for the chords are B flat, E flat, and then B flat, and then G minor, E flat, B flat. So just very still. You don't give your heart in pieces. Just holding that B flat out. Going to G minor. You don't hide yourself to Jesus. Just holding out that B flat with your right hand. And then going into uh, verse 2. So B flat. Uncontrolled. Uncontained. Your love is a fire. So what I'm doing here is 
pressing the same keys except I'm pressing them a lot harder than I did before. So for example, uh, instead of just playing like this, for the first verse, now I'm pressing on the B flat with my right hand a lot more often, so... more often and then keeping that rhythm with my right hand now notice with my left hand I'm starting out just playing it once you're on control so then I start pressing it more often around the second time I mean on the second line so pressing like kind of rhythm and after that verse you have that little all the world will see and that instrumental that you played first time so um Loves the light for all the world will see all the on the B flat with your left hand with the octave if you want more power and then as soon as you press it you start with your right hand so left and then and what you're playing is A B flat C D so every round you're playing this and then you're getting ready for that G minor and you press it twice so with your left hand you're playing four times one two three four with your right hand, you're only join, joining their left hand on the first and third times. So, for example, you don't give your heart in pieces. So, for the G minor and the E flat, you're pr pressing on these keys for the first and third time that you're playing the bass key. I hope that makes sense. So, you That kind of breaks it down, I hope. Anyway, and then you go into the bridge right after. So, tease us. And then you go into the C minor. Your love's not fractured. And the bridge chords are C minor, G minor, and then B flat, and F. And that repeats over again. So, not fractured. Remember, you're going to be building up here. It's not a troubled mind. It is an anxious. It's not the restless kind. And then C minor again. It's not passing. It's never disengaged. It's always present. It is on But when you're playing this, you're really working on your build-up. So you start off with pressing on the bass key like once or twice, right? It's not fractured just once, right? It's not a double nine. Go into B. It is an anxious F. You're pressing once. And then a second time around, you want to start pressing twice. It's not passive. four times with your left hand. Four times. Again, B flat. Two, three, four, F. Two, three, four, and then... You might want to get into the 
this pattern where you're pressing on the triad chord with your right hand the first and third of the times when you press on your left, for, for example. So. And then you can go into playing eight, so. get very powerful and you're if you're playing just piano you do have to do the build up yourself so love is and then you go into the chorus again very loudly with that build up so you end on the F as you can hear what I started doing with my left hand is playing this pattern so um, you're playing that with your um, left hand and with your right hand you play so solo part in the lower keys after the B. Um, gosh, I don't even know how to explain what I'm playing here. I'm playing a lot, so I'm just doing that pattern. And with my right hand, I'm pressing four times, so... the solo right away. With my left hand I'm doing that pattern that I showed you. Anyway, this is the whole song. You can just move back into the calm chorus if you want. Um, and that's it. Gosh, this song was kind of hard to explain actually. Surprisingly, I thought it would be a lot more simpler. Anyway, share it on Facebook. Uh, tell your friends who love piano and just worshiping God on their own to check out my channel. Thanks guys. Bye.